Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Lansangin from Techno Buffalo, and Windows 10 is finally available, which means if you have a qualified Windows 7 or 8.1 machine, you'll be able to update to Windows 10 for free, as long as you do it within the first year. We've been testing out Windows 10 for several weeks and we're loving what we see so far. It's definitely the upgrade Windows fans have been waiting for and the release PC users deserve following Windows 8. There are a ton of changes in Windows 10, but let's take a look at some of the best features in Microsoft's latest OS. So the first one on our list is Cortana. Now Cortana is making its way to the PC in Windows 10 and it's an awesome feature. You can add things to her notebook like your favorite locations, TV shows, sports teams, so she starts to learn what kind of things you like, like a real assistant. She'll immediately provide that information in things like the weather, your upcoming flight plans, and more, all from your Windows 10 taskbar. Cortana exists in two forms, either as an icon or as a full search bar, and you can call her by voice using the Hey Cortana command or manually. So the second one on our list is Windows Hello. Now, passwords are very dumb, but not really. They can be a pain though. They also aren't very secure if you're just taping them to the side of the monitor anyway. That's why Microsoft built Windows Hello. It's a biometric based system security. You can use iris scanners, which are built into some computers already, or you can use your face or fingerprints to jump right into your computer. Now we recently tested this feature at a meeting with Microsoft and it works flawlessly and quickly and we're told they can't be fake with photos, which I know may be a big concern to some people. This isn't a gimmick either. Microsoft is part of the FIDO Alliance, which has a goal of getting banks and other institutions on board with the authentication standard. So the third one on our list is Continuum. Now Continuum is going to play a huge role in Microsoft's Windows 10 ecosystem. On tablets and 2-in-1 hybrids, it essentially allows you to switch between a touch-friendly mode and a keyboard and mouse mode. On a Surface Pro 3, for example, attaching a keyboard will enable PC mode and detaching it will enable tablet mode. More importantly, however, is what the feature means to apps. The applications you use on Windows 10 are built to scale all screen sizes, so Windows 10 apps like Photos or even apps that developers build can run on devices with 4 inch displays up to huge monitors. Just pull the window and the app will scale in real time. So the fourth one on our list is the return of the start menu. Now this is a very big feature I'm sure a lot of people are excited to see make a comeback. Yes, it wasn't very hard to add a start menu to previous iterations of Windows, but the real deal start menu is back. It's even better than before too and Microsoft says it specifically made tweaks based on input from Windows Insider testers. You can keep it nice and small or resize it to take over your whole screen if you want. You can also customize it to your content with four different live tile sizes, drag and drop applications around and more. For me, it's where I can quickly see the weather, check out a few headlines and open up my most used apps and it's easily the best version of the start menu ever. So the last one on our list is Microsoft Edge. While we're still getting used to the Microsoft Edge browser, we're really digging it so far. You can finally pin tabs, you can take a snapshot of the screen and draw on it in OneNote, share pages right from the browser and more. Probably my favorite feature, however, is the built-in Cortana support. If you go to a website for a restaurant, for example, Cortana will pop up at the top of the screen and let you know she has the hours, directions, and more. Also, if you ever come across a word or something you don't understand, you can right-click and ask Cortana for more information. There's also light and dark modes, a reading list, and the ability to read in a special reading view that makes the page much more reader friendly. Like we said, there's so much more to love about Windows 10, the new Action Center in Windows 10 makes it so much easier to check out missed notifications, and the new Xbox integration in Windows 10 will allow you to stream Xbox games directly to your PC. We also have support for full virtual desktops, and task switching is better than ever. Microsoft is treating Windows 10 more like Windows as a service, which means we can expect frequent updates from Microsoft. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.